Hi guys! Quick note, so I wanted to make a separate video with some decor DIYs I did while redecorating my room. I have just posted the video of my room tour so you can check it out if you want. Okay, bye now! Crafting is something that it's a passion of mine and I wanted to make a separate section in my channel about that. I'll let the voiceover me take over from here. Bye! Whoop. The first craft is this coffin earring hanger. All you need is some heart paper. I honestly used a box of old cereals and traced the design. Uh, also a fabric of your liking. I prefer using velvet for gothic shit like this. And glue, because I'm too lazy to sew everything together. <laughs> Since the fabric was very very soft, it was able to embrace the coffin outline so all I needed to do was glue it on the back with my favorite glue gun. Long time no see, little buddy, long time no see. Oh how I miss burning my fingers with this. So anyway, I glued the fabric on the back and cut the excess fabric so that it won't look clumpy, I guess. I also glued a ribbon in order to hang it on the wall. And initially I glued um, ribbons to hang the earrings in straight lines but I noticed that it didn't look so good so I kept it simple and hang the earrings through the fabric and it turned out really pretty. So this is the final look. I really really like how simple and elegant it looks. The next idea was something I wanted to put on my Etsy shop. There are these fabric posters with an original artwork of mine. I have two designs, one with wildflowers and one with insects, which I sketched during quarantine, and I'm so happy with how my drawing improved. Uh, so I printed them on transfer paper. I got this for about 7 euros, and it has uh, around 30 seats, I think, so you can utilize in other ways, like t-shirts and tote bags. I also wanted to decorate a pillowcase, so I printed one more uh, with flowers. The ironing process was harder than I remember, uh, so there were some cracks on the design, especially the posters. I realized having small pieces were easier to be transferred than a whole page. The peeling of this is so satisfying, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this! So I decided to keep the fabric posters for myself since they did not turn out uh, as good as I wanted them to be. You can see the cracks in here. Uh, I decided to just put uh, normal hard paper posters on my Etsy shop. So if you like this artwork and want one for yourself, you can find it there. Oh, I love peeling these off. Oh my god. These turned out kind of better than the previous one, but still there were some mistakes and I, I just, I cannot give these away to you guys. I just, I'll keep them for myself because they're not that bad. You can see them if you look closely. So the pillow turned out so, so cute with my bed seats. So the next decor idea I'm gonna show you is so simple, it's even stupid to include, <laughs> but uh, a lot of people pay money to print houses in order to print big or narrow posters when it's something so easy to do on your home printer. Just take two or more A4 papers, uh, cut the image in Photoshop and print these images separately and then you can cut the excess white paper and just glue them together like doing a puzzle and it's done. I was so afraid to create these because I didn't want to go spend money on print houses when I had already invested on a good printer and inks. Uh, I really like this artwork I found on Pinterest, it's called the Wild Unknown Tarot and also the other one it's not uh, mine either but I couldn't find the artist so if you know it leave a comment below. <laughs> This DIY is so fun. I got these little bottles from Michaels in Canada. We don't have Michaels in Europe, but you can definitely find similar ones in your local craft store or get some from Amazon because they're pretty basic. 
Uh, so the whole idea was to make enchanted little jars with some fairy godmother blessing kind of thing. I just put stuff I found in nature for these. In the first one I put lavender and rose petals, or dried by the way. In the second one I put little amethyst crystals and baby's breath I brought all the way from Scotland. And in the last one I put this fluffy weird dried flower, I don't know the name of, if you do please let me know. Uh, but I love how it looks like a tropical jungle <laughs> inside this little, little box. <laughs> so yeah, this is how they look. They're so, so pretty and cute and they look so good on my vintage boudoir I have in my room. The day I filmed these DIYs I had some edgy orders to make and pack, so I filmed this process in order for you guys to have an inside look of my little shop. I am doing all this on my bed because every surface on my room was full since at that time I was still redecorating and revamping it and yes I have pink panther bed covers so I pre-made the fabric chokers and I only had to print and cut out the stickers I print them on this matte uh, sticker paper and the packaging process is honestly my favorite I'm still going back and forth with it and I appreciate the feedback I get from you guys because it helps me improve. I stopped using bubbly envelopes and bubble wrap because fabric and paper won't break or shatter and it's less plastic this way. I know my packaging is not 100% sustainable but I'm really working on it. Right now I'm reusing paper and plastic wrap I already had laying around my house so that I won't buy or produce more. Uh, gotta use what we already have, right guys? <laughs> But when I run out of these options, I want to find something sustainable to stick to. Uh, packaging is so beautiful and aesthetic and honestly, sometimes it's why we buy things from their looks, you know? But once you open the product and ditch the packaging, all you're left with is waste. So yeah, I'm really working on having a balance between sustainable and pretty enough goodies. What I'm gonna show you in this video are these bookmarks which I include in every order as a thank you to you guys for choosing to spend your money on my creation. And my workspace looks like a mess today. So I like to include a handwritten personalized thank you note. I decided this time to try it with this pen and created a mess. I had these thank you cards but writing the note myself feels more personal and I decided to do this from now on. You know, it's trial and error with your own shop. You can only know once you try it. I'm still trying to perfect my filming process. Now that I have more space, I think my next DIY video will look better and professional. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I have also printed my logo on a sticker to personalize the envelope and make it look professional. Look at me, I have a brand! <laughs> and now back to the original video, how to make these bookmarks. As you can see, I have one template to trace and cut the others on a hard paper again, and I do the same on an old fairies book I borrowed from my Airbnb. You can see it's incomplete, so no one was gonna read it anyway. I did some with dried flowers and some with stamps. I traced a hole so that it's centered and I opened one with this belt hole maker, which is destined for leather. So it worked just fine here. And then you glue the two pieces together so that it looks like this. I prefer to glue it from the side that you could see the pen tracing. And so now it's not visible anymore. Then I put this metallic stud. Honestly, you can do it without the stud. I did this just because I had the tools from jewelry making. 
uh, you can do this the styling stick a ribbon on it so that it stands out from the book pages and here you have it and off to the post office we go so these were my quick and easy DIYs I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye